Hi there, this is a quick update about my pillow that I'm creating. Um, and when I say pillow, it's not really a pillow. It's actually what I'd like to think as a side sleeping system. And I'll try and explain all that. Because what I'm trying to create is a comfortable way to sleep on your side so that uh, people who need to sleep on the side can actually sleep in that position. Because uh, you may have noticed from other videos that I've done a long time now, actually, that a lot of the pillows help certain things like neck support and uh, and something else, but they don't help with all the problems. And that's the bit that sort of upset me when I looked at those pillows, when I tried to review all the pillows. They help some things, but they don't help other things. And so the system that I'm trying to create is something that will help people sleep on their side comfortably so they can stay on their side the whole night. I don't think it's, you know, people need to move a lot of the time and there, there will be a situation where you can shuffle around so you can move your pressure points. So, so let me go back. The reason why people move around so you don't put too much pressure on a certain area and it causes pressure uh, and damage to that bit of tissue. Now, the reason why uh, people might need to sleep on their side is because some people snore less when they sleep on their side. So that's one of the reasons to sleep on your side. So if you're one of those people where your wife or your, or your partner says to you, look, I have to keep rolling you on your side because you make so much noise when you're lying on your back. Well, then learning to sleep on your side is the right thing to do. But some people find it really uncomfortable, either because their arm becomes numb and they just have to roll on their back and that wakes up their partner who has to roll them back over again and it disturbs their sleep. And it also disturbs your sleep because you know, clearly these people get very upset with being woken up every 20 minutes or so to roll their partner back over. But there are other people who need to sleep on their side. For example, heavily pregnant women need to sleep on their side because they don't want the 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 baby putting pressure on their blood vessels because A, it's not great for them, but also those blood vessels feed the baby with oxygen and nutrients and things like that. So they need to sleep on their side so that the um, the blood flow continues on coming to their child. And Obviously, some people worry that when they're in the middle of the night, how do they know uh, that they might end up having to, uh, they might end up sleeping on their back to reduce that risk as much as possible? I want to make a pillow that will help people sleep on their side comfortably so their body doesn't automatically think in the middle of the night, oh, we better sleep on our back because our shoulder's hurting or the ear's hurting because it's been pressed on the pillow for too long. So, uh, and I keep saying pillow. It's not really a pillow. Well, it, well, it is, but... It's actually a series of four different pillows, and that's why um, it's called a system now. <laughs> um, and it's, so it's a pillow here, it's a pillow here, it's a pillow across your chest, uh, because I, what, I, what I don't want to do, uh, when you sleep on your side, you end up sleeping a bit like this. And when you do that for too long, your pectoral muscles, these sort of chest muscles here, if you're like this for a long time, they, they contract and you don't get to stretch your arms out as much as possible. So I've got a pillow going across here to stop you from, um, stop the pectoris muscles from contracting. And so you don't have restricted shoulder movements, which can cause problems later. Um, I have a pillow that goes between your legs. And I'm sure a lot of people have seen those sorts of pillows, particularly for pregnant ladies, because you don't want the legs coming down and scissoring over each other, because that can cause problems with your hip and makes one uh, leg slightly more numb than the other. And I need a, a cushion here and a cushion here to protect your shoulder, because sleeping on your arm all the time will make your hand go numb. And when that happens for too long, I can go on and on about why this is a system, not a pillow. Uh, and so I said it was an update. I've got to the point where I'm tweaking it now. So I've got a pillow. Um, it's uh, the company that are helping me make it, the factory that are making it, have sent me a pillow. And I said, actually, we need um, a centimeter off here. And can we round this off a little bit? And actually, maybe we can bring this in a bit because I need the arm to go around the corner here. And I don't want there to be a pressure on the arm. All sorts of little things like that. So I'm, I'm, I'm in, in my bedroom <laughs> with a Stanley knife, cutting bits off and get, oh no, we should add a bit here and take a bit off here. So I'm at that stage now. It's taking a long time um, because, because I guess I'm a bit of a perfectionist and I want this to be really good. Um, 
And yeah, sorry, it's taking a long time, but I really want it to be really, really useful because I don't want to look at my um, my pillow system again in the future. And if I was doing a review on it and thinking to myself, oh God, it's not as good as it could have been. And I've sort of taken a shortcut here. I want to be absolutely certain it's as good as it possibly can be before it gets released. And as I said, it's a system, a side sleeping system to help people sleep on their side. It's not a system that cures your snoring or cures your obstructive sleep habit. I, I don't want you to think that that's how it is because there's no such thing as a um, as something that can cure everyone's snoring or sleep apnea. It just doesn't work like that. Obstructive sleep apnea, snoring is caused by multiple different things. It, what may cause snoring in me or in someone right next to me who looks the same may be completely different. That person may have huge tonsils. I don't have very big tonsils at all. They Tonsils disappear at puberty. Uh, some people, some adults have large tonsils and that may be causing their problem. So sleeping on your side and the tonsils joining together and blocking your breathing, causing um, uh, obstructive sleep apnea or snoring, then a pillow is not going to help them at all. This is for people who are, who know that when they sleep on their side, they snore less. This is for people who have had a sleep study that tells them, did you know that when you sleep on your side, you don't have obstructive sleep apnea? It's only when you lie on your back. And so they say, oh, well, why don't you wear a backpack that will make you sleep on your side, which is currently all we really have. But then people say, well, I find it really uncomfortable because my arm hurts and you know my, sh my neck hurts and all these other things. So that's why I'm trying to make a device that will help people out there. So this is not a, a cure for snoring or obstructive sleep apnea. It's not like that at all. It's, it's a system that will help you sleep on your side. That's all it really does. So if you're a pregnant lady or someone with an ear problem who likes to sleep on their side but just finds they can't because their ears are going to hurt, you can sleep on this system that will help you sleep on your side so that your ear can heal or, um, because you've got some sort of hardened tissue around there. Or if you had an operation on your ear, you don't want any pressure on your ear, but you really feel like you have to sleep on your side. Well, it will help those sorts of people. It helps people sleep on their side. It's not, it's not a cure for anything. It doesn't, uh, it doesn't solve snoring because I think that is the wrong message to give out. I, I don't want people to think that I'm creating something that will cure everyone's snoring. That's not right. It's, it will be disingenuous of me to say that because it's not what I stand for. What I stand for is for people to understand their obstructive sleep, understand their snoring and treat it accordingly. They, they know the reasons why they have obstructive sleep apnea yeah? and they go, right, okay, that's my problem. What are my options? And I say, well, one, two, three, four, five. And they go, right, okay, these are the different options. Let me try this or let me try this. If, if, if my side sleeping system will help them achieve some of the benefits of them um, getting good quality sleep, well, then it might be useful for them. But it, it's only really meant to help you be comfortable sleeping on your side. So yes, this pillow system or side sleeping system hopefully will deal with all the problems I think I've worked, I've, I've thought of that may stop people from feeling comfortable sleeping on their side. Um, it's difficult, uh, really difficult, because we all come in different shapes and sizes. Some people have longer necks, some people are heavier than other people. So I need to make this pillow um, adjustable, modifiable for everyone. So if you're very slight, uh, you don't want a huge pillow system on your bed, which props you up like this and your neck is tilted like that whereas some people are a lot heavier or have bigger heads or bigger ears than other people. So it needs to be configurable to everybody. Um, and some people don't really care about snoring and sleep. Like say the pregnant ladies who need to sleep on their side. So I need to make sure that even though they're sleeping on their side, that um, they don't have to stick their head down in a three quarter position. I talk about this in another video. I'll, I'll stick that video here. Um, and I talk about how if you've got um, snoring obstructive sleep apnea, instead of just sleeping on your side, which helps a little bit, what you really want to be doing is sleeping into the pillow, but without blocking your mouth and your face like this in the pillow, because into the pillow, your tongue can roll forward out of the way. But that's not a problem for people with an ear problem, and they just want to be able to sleep on their side. So I need to be able to make it comfortable for people to sleep on their side without having all these other problems. So... Uh, I need to be able to help people who don't want to wear a chin strap at night or, or a mouth tape. 
I want to be able to get them to sleep on their side and close their mouth so they're not drooling all through the night and wetting their pillow at night, which then makes it uncomfortable and they sleep on their back. I want them to I want this um, pillow to help them close their mouth. There's all sorts of little things that I've thought about over years now to think about how to help these people with their um, sleeping on their side. Um, and it's progressing on nicely. Uh, this factory is brilliant. They're really nice. Uh, they they um, they they understand that uh, I uh, have got a lot of thought about this, and they're following what I want to say, uh, and they're they're keeping up with my <laughs> ideas and and the things I want for this thing. And they said, "Look, just tell us what you want, and we will try and make it," which is just what I need um, because. Uh, I'm not an engineer. I, I'm a doctor, and I want to make the best quality of advice. And they, they come up with ideas, and I go, "Oh yeah, that's a really good idea." <laughs> I didn't know you could do that. You, I didn't know you could put different levels of um, um, different firmness and softness, or elasticity of different types of memory foam together. So we're currently going through different layers of different support for the neck. You don't want the same level of support for your neck for for your head or uh, for the side of your ear or how deep something has to be or the closing your mouth, the chin support and, uh, you know, the how, how are we going to modify the size of the arm? Because people have different sized arms. Some people are bodybuilders and have huge arms. and But also people with bodybuilders, an awful lot of them have obstructive sleep apnea. So even though they have 0% fat, very close to 0% fat in their body, they have terrible obstructive sleep apnea. So well, the people in these muscle gyms. Um, I'm going off on a tangent. I should, I stopped doing that. I'm really bad at that. So what I'm trying to say is uh, the pillow system, the side sleeping system is coming along nicely. And I'm really excited, as you can tell. Um, I, um, I'm i trying to make this thing. It's um, not going to make a huge amount of money. <laughs> I know that because it's enormously expensive and I, I can't... Um, I'm not going to recoup a lot of the money, but as long as I don't lose an awful lot of money, that that that's all I care about. Uh, I want this to be an option that people will find useful. And uh, I should get off because I'm about to lose my battery. Thank you ever so much for watching this video. Take care. I'll let you know more about it. Oh, if you need more information about this thing, sign up to my newsletter below and I'll send you information about it and I'll put you on a wait list or something so you can get the first few pillows uh, early on before anyone else. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.